and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing The Secrets of Colouring by Jennifer Zimmerman, founder of ModernColouring.com and creator of many colouring tutorials and the colouring book Glamourista. So this is another colouring skills workbook, much like Colourist Special Effects by Helen Elliston and Colour Workshop by Rachel Reinert. This book has a very comprehensive introduction so we'll get started. So firstly we have a foreword from Jennifer which explains a little bit about her background in illustration and art and then her web links. Here we have the contents list for the book which is broken down into 10 categories or chapters. From this point on at the request of the author some of these pages are going to be blurred or masked. So here's the beginning of the book, an introduction to paper types and colouring materials, both basic and non-traditional items like eyeshadow. So we have coloured pencils, we have how to create gradations, we have a bit about colourless blenders, markers and pens, uh, other things that you might want to use like fixative. and it, like I said, these non-traditional materials as well. So, chapter seven focuses on tips to take your colouring to the next level, such as using a marker base under pencil and rotating your page to make it easier to create the right texture. Chapter eight gives you the fundamentals on creating dimension and depth in your 3D objects. So all the information you need on light sources, highlights and shadows. It shows and tells you step by step how to achieve a realistic sphere and what colours to use to do it. Jennifer uses Prismacolor and includes the exact pencil numbers to use, but if you use Polychromos for example, you can reference my Prisma Poly comparison chart. I'll leave that link in the description. So here's my sphere, which was easy to create and like most of these tutorial books requires you to add a few more layers or do a bit more blending than is shown to get it looking truly like the artist's finished piece. We then have a page explaining colour theory and the differences between terms like hue, tint, tone uh, and saturation so that you can better understand the foundations of colouring and apply it to your work for more professional and considered results. We've got a description of the colour wheel and the effect that different temperatures make on your page. The different palettes that we use according to the colour wheel can completely change how the picture looks and which parts of it stand out to the eye. So Jennifer's given you a couple of practice thumbnails to test out different colour combinations and see how they work together. Chapter 9 is where the tutorials begin and firstly Jennifer shows you how to increase the richness and depth of colour in a gem as well as embellish those shiny highlights that add to the realism. So the first actual tutorial is this stunning ruby slipper done with alcohol markers and glitter gel pens and there's space for you here to practice with those two mediums before you, can, uh, before you apply them to an illustration. The next tutorial is how to create a coloured pencil background that glows and the bleeding heart flower tutorial itself will follow on further in the book. Next up is how to create a moonlit sky using several types of mixed media including pencils and markers and it tells you how to do both the background and the moon itself. Then we have a tutorial on using pastels to produce a cloudy sky and there's information on how to seal it to the page using fixative. Each picture of every tutorial is accompanied by text that explains everything. I know it's difficult with the pages being disguised but there is both pictorial and um, instructions explained in text. So here we have a pastel and marker background using a watermark stamp. So there's definitely a lot of diverse and unusual tools used in this book that you may or may not have, but it certainly gives you a lot of interesting techniques you may not have seen before. This next tutorial uses pan pastels and coloured pencil to create a basic skin tone, as well as lips, eyes and hair. Now if you don't have pan pastels, don't worry, you can skip that stage and go straight in with the pencils, although this obviously will create a different finished look. Um, I think I'd rather find comparative colours in whatever pastels I do have and do that instead. So the next stage again shows you skin, but this time on tan toned paper and completely with pencils, no pastels. In fact, the following tutorials in the book are all done with pencil from now on. 
So here Jennifer uses Luminance and Polychromos pencils, but again, you can use whichever pencil set you have and try to match the colours. This gorgeous wolf eye is next up and there's tips on both the eye itself and how to colour realistic fur, something a lot of colourists want to know how to do. On the next page we have a totally different texture, the scaled skin of a snake and again how to create this beautiful rich red eye. A bit more domestic on this page as we learn how to achieve the quite complex pattern of a cat's eye. Now this beautiful iridescent beetle is next and it's fab to learn how to give insects a bit of shine, a bit of colour and depth. Um, as usually I think you probably colour them in variations of browns and black. You can of course use this technique on anything, not just animals, so I think it would be great on leaves and even household objects too. So here's that bleeding heart flower tutorial we saw a bit earlier. And here's another very popular request in the colouring world, gold. Jennifer includes steps to colour both yellow and rose gold, and on the next page, pewter. So Jennifer's perhaps best known, certainly on YouTube, for her gem and pearl tutorials. Here we have a cobalt blue pearl and an iridescent metallic pearl, with all the steps, of course, to make this look like you can pick it up off the page. Ribbon is covered on this page. And then we have a faceted pink diamond for those of you wanting to learn crystal and gems. This absolutely amazing gold egg is up next and uh, along, to along with how to colour the nest that it sits in as well. So I've tried this one a bit further into the book so you can see how that looks in a moment. Uh, and then we have a beautiful Mojave turquoise cabochon showing you how to create gold veins in your gemstones. So now we come to the final chapter, which is all of the practice pages. Now Jennifer chose not to include practice line work on the tutorials themselves, probably to save space and keep things organised. So this is where you'll find everything you need to practice on. Now you can practice within the book or you can photocopy the pages onto your preferred paper for personal use. It's totally up to you. So this book includes that mock toned paper for you to test your mediums on, something I haven't actually seen in other colouring books or technique books, so that is interesting and a fab addition if you want to uh, practice on the different tones of paper as well. So here's my golden egg. Um, I haven't done the nest yet as you can see but my egg looks pretty good. Um, it's nowhere near as good as Jennifer's example but I do feel that this is one thing that needs a lot of practice. I found myself adding so many layers of pencil that it was soon burnished and I couldn't blend anymore. Um, so we'll see if I can get it right the next time. Here at the back we have a place for you to write your colour combos and whereabouts in the book you use them. And then a bit of a declaration to agree not to distribute any of these pages to anyone else. Finally, there's a resource guide with links where you can find all the materials used in this book. So overall, I think it's a very comprehensive book which includes a lot of in-depth and broad information that both seasoned artists and beginner colourists can use in their colouring. Um, if you're someone who wants to know a lot of background knowledge and the foundations of colour theory, then this book is definitely for you. There aren't as many tutorials as other books out there, but I feel that this book is more to teach you the fundamental tricks of the trade which you can practice and apply yourself. So it's currently on Amazon for £15.94 and Amazon US for $18.89. I'll leave the links in the description. It is a considered purchase, but there is a ton of information here, so it will probably teach you a lot. Uh, so if you're serious about upgrading your colour knowledge and your skills, I think it's a great book to have on hand. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please give this video the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.